Hey, what's up? Robert here for robertsproductions.net. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm going to start off with 4K sequence. If you would like to see the 1080p sequence, go ahead and skip along to the time shown on the screen right now. Let me go ahead and click and drag this 4K footage down into a new sequence. And here we have our sequence. If we go to sequence settings, you can see our frame size is 3840 by 2160. And what I want to do is put this clip side by side. Now I don't have a secondary clip, so I'm just going to duplicate this bottom track here. I'm going to hold down alt click and drag up one track to duplicate this bottom clip. And now we have two of the same clips and we're just going to put these side by side. So I'm going to start off with the topmost track so that I can see what I'm doing. If I start off with this bottom track, we're not going to be able to see what we're editing because the top one is going to be in the way. But let's start off with this topmost track. And we're going to go into the effect controls here. You might be in the source. We're just going to go to the effect controls for this top clip. And we're going to change some settings for the motion and the position and scale properties. And what we want to do for the scale is just divide it by two. So half of 100 is going to be 50. And now you can see that our clip is already shrunk down. We want to move it over to the left side. And what we can do is we could do a few little calculations to be like a little mad scientist. I'm going to bring out the calculator here real quick. And what we want to do is we want to take 1920 and we want to have that. So 1920 divided by two is 960. And if you're working with this same footage size, I already did the math for you. So 1920, let's adjust this first value for the position to 960. And there we have that first clip reduced down and put on the left side. Let's do the same thing for the second clip. Adjust the scale half, so 50%. And we're gonna adjust the position. You can see right here it's in the middle. So what we need to do is we need to add our value from the left side to this number here. So 1920 plus 960 is 2880. Let's enter that value, 2880, press enter. And now our clip is perfectly on the right side of the screen. You can see we have both clips here. If we offset them a little bit and reduce this, here we have the footage side by side. Pretty cool. So now if we are working with a 1080 clip, let me click and drag this down to a new sequence. And this sequence size is 1920 by 1080. And same thing, just going to duplicate this bottom clip here. Start with the top clip. And we're going to reduce the scale by half, so 50%. And now we're going to take 960 and divide that by 2. And that's 480. So we'll get the left side 480 for the first value in the position here. And that's on the left. And now for the bottom track, set that to 50. And we want to take 960 plus 480. And we get 1440. So 1440. And now we have our clip on the right side. So if we offset these a little bit, we can watch that, see how that looks. All right, and that's how you can do the side-by-side -side right here in Premiere. I've had a question before of how to remove the black bars on the top and the bottom. You can do that just by uh, having the height of the sequence size. So if we go to the sequence, sequence settings, and here we have the width is 1920, the height is 1080. So if we take half of 1080, we get five. So if I set the height to 540, press OK and press OK for the warning, you can see that the sequence size is now perfectly set for this side by side image, uh, which may work for YouTube. Not quite sure. But even though you have it like this, it may not be supported by all uh, devices that, you know, you see this on because the standard is usually 16 by 9. And there you have it, a horizontal split screen right here in Premiere Pro. Hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.